All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's a shit, Shalom, to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Um, I want to go on this reply to the brother um, Amawan Gabar from uh, the main camp uh, video uh, on his channel, GMS Awakening 144. It's a uh, reply to uh, IUIC teaches congregation not to speak against Esau or else. Okay? And that's pretty much, you know, the 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 topic, you know, uh IUIC is teaching that, you know, did anybody who teach it or, or speaks against uh the Edomites, which are predominantly the so called white people, according to the Bible, you know, you they they're gonna kick you out and so on and so forth. But, you know, I wanted to go through the scriptures. You can watch this video also. Just go through the scriptures and uh, show you uh, what does the Bible say about, um, you know, the men of the Lord speaking out against uh, Esau, okay? Um, this is Luke 10 and 16. He that hears you, hears me. And he that despises you, despises me, Okay? And, and the so-called white man, they already despise us, man. Esau already despises um, the men of the Lord, man. The scriptures say that uh, Esau, I mean, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated, man. Okay? So the so-called white man despises Esau, man. And for IUIC, you know, they saying uh, not to speak against Esau. You know, I just was wondering how would it be if uh, Edomite came up to their camp? Like, are they supposed to not say anything to them? Or, or are they supposed to say that they can make it? You know, or, or even when, when the Edomite looks at the um the 12 tribe sign, you know, and then they say, like, well, my my uh, my lineage isn't up there. Where What about my lineage? What what's, goes, what's going on according to the Bible, you know? See, these guys, the Spirit of the Lord is not dealing with IUIC, okay? It says, and he that despises you, despises, I mean, and he that despises me, despises him that sent me. Um, And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are, sub are subject unto us through your name, okay? So, you know, according to the Bible, the so-called white man is the devil, man. Okay, and the seventy was returning, and they were saying that even the even the devils, man, are subject unto us, right? And Luke ten and eighteen it says, and he said unto them, I behold Satan as fall as lightning falling from heaven. Okay, now Satan, the 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 uh, spiritual demon. Okay, the spiritual demon Satan. You know, you have this doctrine going going around talking about Satan fought against the Lord, and you know he's going to be uh, casted out. Well, he was casted out of uh, out of heaven onto this earth. Satan does the will of the Most High perfectly, man. Okay, Satan, the the spiritual demon, does the will of the Most High perfectly. Okay, this scripture right here is not talking about Satan, the spiritual demon. It's talking about the so-called white man, okay? And I'll uh, get that, okay? But it says, uh, and he said unto them, I beheld Satan is lightning falling from heaven, right? Behold, I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions. And who is who is the uh, serpent, man? Okay, according to the scriptures, the so-called white man. Okay, Esau, Edomites, man. They're the serpents according to the Bible. So the, the, the Lord said, Behold, I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Who is the enemy, man? Who is the enemy of Jacob or the Israelites, the so-called white man, Esau, man? Okay? And nothing shall by any means hurt you. <laughs> okay? So they teaching, you know, not to speak against uh, Esau or else. Why? Because they have that 501c3 charter, okay? Um, you can Google that, okay? But the scriptures say, 
you know, and over all the power of the enemy, man. So the Lord gave us power over the enemy, man. Okay? And and nothing nothing that they do is going to hurt us, right? It said, notwithstanding in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you. Okay? So, you know, when we go out, and let's say an Edomite comes up and, you know, they bow down and, you know, uh, they listen and, you know, they shut up and stuff like that. Um, the scriptures say that, you know, don't rejoice in the fact that, you know, they, they, they bow down, you know, or they, uh, that they are subject onto us through Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and that they know that we're the men of the Lord, right? But rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven, okay? And that's the thing. When we go out there, you know, we, we, we have that, the, the, the Lord gave us his spirit, man, to, to rebuke uh these devils man to rebuke their society okay and that's the that's the spirit that that the men of the lord are going to have man okay this is what yahweh saw toward his people man you know iuic is telling telling this people telling their congregation to shut up man okay when an edomite might come up it says luke 21 and 17 and you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake all men okay all the nations of this world, man, whether you're a so-called Moabite, which are the Chinese or, you know, the Ishmaelites or whoever, man, according to the Bible, we're going to be hated among all, or hated for everybody, man, for the Lord's name, right? It says, but there shall not an hair of your head purse, okay? So, hey, we looking for the prophecies, man. We understand that, this, the, that Esau already paints us to be terrorists. You know what I'm saying? The most, the, what well, the worst thing, that they, they paint us to be the worst thing that ever happened to this uh, world, you know? We're worse than niggas, even though, you know, they look at us like we're niggas and stuff. They're, we're worse than niggas. You know, we should, they, we, we should be in jail or whatever, you know, if it's up to these so-called white people, you know, these Edomites. You know, they hate us for teaching this truth, man, okay? And the, you, gotta have a, you have a saying called the truth hurts, man. Okay, we're not going to bend the truth or not uh, speak the truth, man, just because uh, these devils are hurt, man, or because we're in their society, man. Fuck Esau, man. Okay, it says 2 Corinthians 4 and 11. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Yahweh's side sake. Okay, so the thing is, you coming to this truth, man, we always going to be delivered unto death, man, for the Lord's sake, man. Okay. Whether it's from Esau or whoever, man, our own people, okay, that's just how this truth goes, okay? That the life also of your house may be might may, might be made manifest in our mortal flesh, okay? So the thing is, you know, uh, we we living your house is living through us, man, you know. The Lord is the, the the Lord is the author and the finisher of our faith, man. Okay, and the scriptures say that the things that was written aforetime was written for our learning. Okay, um, this is Second Thessalonians two and eight, and then shall the that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. Okay, and and that's what's going on, man. Who, who is the wicked, man? And how is the wicked being revealed, man? Okay, through the scriptures, we know who the wicked is, man. That the so-called white man is Esau, according to the Bible, man. And 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 how is the Lord consuming him with the spirit of his mouth through, the, through his prophets, man? Who are the mouthpiece of the Lord, man? And so destroy with the brightness of his coming. So we telling, telling uh, Esau that, hey, when the Lord comes back, He's going to destroy this place, man, and you devils are going into slavery, man. Okay? That's, that's you know, to the point. But I got this scripture. Um, This is uh, Daniel um, 5, and um, I'm going to start at... Uh, I'm going to start at... Uh, I'm gonna jump around, okay? 
Um, this is Daniel 5 and 1. Bel Belshazzar, the king, made a great feast to a thousand of his lords and drank wine before the thousand. Right? Um, so this is about Belshazzar, right? Um, it says, then, this is Daniel 5 and 6. Then the king's countenance was changed and his thoughts troubled him so that the joints of his loins were loosed his knees smote one against another, right? Uh, you know, because this this guy uh, Belshazzar brought brought in all of these uh, these uh, vessels and stuff like that. You know, he didn't want to give uh, credit onto the um, the Most High, right? Um, it says uh, the the uh, the king cried aloud. To, to bring in the astrologers, the Chaldeans and the soothsayers, right? What, what is the word sooth, soothsayer, okay? Uh, it says to cut, determine, uh, determiner, uh, to cut out soothsayer, okay? It says, um, and the king spoke and said to the wise men of Babylon, whosoever shall read this writing, and show me the interpretation thereof shall be clothed with scarlet and have a chain of gold about his neck and shall be the third ruler in the kingdom, right? Um, because as I said, you know, he uh he was having this this great feast. Okay, he didn't want to give the uh the um the power to the Lord, okay, and then and, and and when he was doing that, um a man, you know, uh, a writing on a, a wall came, okay. Okay, it says. Uh, then came in all the king's wise men, but they could not read the writing, nor make known the king the interpretation thereof. Right. Um, then was King Belshazzar uh, greatly troubled, and his countenance was changed in him, and his lords were were astonished, right, or astonished. Okay, um, I'm gonna jump down uh, to the uh, 12th verse. It says, "For as much as an excellent spirit and knowledge and understanding, interpreting of dreams and sowing of hard sentences and dissolving of doubts, were found in the same Daniel, whom the king named Belt to to Caesar." Now let Daniel be called, and he will show him the interpretations. So after all this stuff was going on, um, the king Belshazzar, okay, called in Daniel, okay, to to try to determine what what this uh this this uh, uh writing meant, okay. I said then was Daniel brought in before the king, and the king spake and said unto Daniel, Art thou Daniel, which art of the children? Of captivity of Judah, whom the king of my father brought out of Jewry. I have even heard of you that the spirit of the gods is in you, and that light and understanding and excellent wisdom is found in you. And now the wise men, the astrologers, have been brought in before me that they should read this writing and make known unto me the interpretation thereof, but they could not show me the interpretation of the thing right uh, and I have heard of you that thou canst make interpretations and dissolve doubts now if thou canst read the read the writing and make known to me the interpretation thereof thou shalt be clothed with scarlet and have a chain of gold about your neck and shall be the third ruler in the kingdom right it says uh then Daniel said, I mean, answered and said before the king, let your gifts be to yourself and give your rewards to another. Yet I will read the writing unto the king and make known to him the interpretation. You know, and if you left it to IUIC and them, man, they would take all the gifts and, and stuff like that, man. You know, when, you know, the man, the, the gift of prophesying and everything, you know, that's all comes from Yahweh by Simi Yahweh man. Okay. But. I'm going to get straight to the point. Uh, then 
was the part part of the hand sent from him, and this writing was written. And this is the writing that was written. Many, many to call a parson. This is the interpretation of the thing. Many uh, means God have numbered your kingdom and finished it. To call thou art weighed and the balances are and are found wanting. Parties, thy kingdom is divided and given unto the Medes and Persians. Then commanded Belshazzar and, and they clothed Daniel with scarlet and put a chain of gold about his neck and made a proclamation concerning him that he should be the third ruler in the kingdom. And then that night was Belshazzar, the king of, of the Chaldean, slain. And Darius the Median took the kingdom, being about three score and two years old. Okay, so the point is, man, if Belshazzar, if, if, if Daniel was scared to, to uh, teach against um, Esau, man, you know, he went in a, this whole situation when the Lord probably would have put him to death, man. But Daniel told uh, uh, Belshazzar, okay, that uh, this place that he was going, he was going to, uh, the, the, the kingdom was going to be uh, finished, man. Okay. That the Lord numbered his kingdom, man, and he, and he finished it, man. Okay. So, so that's pretty much the, 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 um, the, the point of this lesson man okay the lord numbered the the days of of esau's kingdom and he's going to finish it man and this is a part of the the, the whole road that we're supposed to eat when we go out there man okay because y'all by see me outside is going to destroy this place man when he comes back you know as the scriptures say with the with the brightness of his coming man okay with the missiles in them chariots man okay whether these devils like it or not, man. Okay? But with that, man, hey, if we got to put our life on a lot, which we already doing it, man. If we if our life get, get taken, you know, from doing this work, hey, that's a good thing, man. Presses are the, the death of the Lord's saints in his eyes, man. Okay? That die for the Lord, man, that's a precious thing, man. And what do the scriptures say? You know, the, the dead and, and Yahweh shall rise first, man. Okay, so with that, man, hopefully this was edifying, man. Okay, IUIC is off. Hopefully, hey, the, the 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 sincere brothers, you know, will come up out of that 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 this craziness, man, this madness, and and come into the truth, man. Okay. Um, but with that, man, I want to say, Salawam.